hi friends welcome back to laravel tutorial in this video i will going to show you how to authenticate your user by custom authentication process so we will create a login form and we will create a registration form and we will use the encryption password and insert this record by registration from this form okay and we can log in from here and can see the user details and have a logout option so this is my email id and just use this and i already know my password and after login we can see my dashboard and we have an option to log out okay so let's see how we can develop custom authentication from the scratch okay so first we'll start from laravel installation so this is the laravel website and we have a documentation for installation so you can see this installation process and i will install via the composer so just go to here so this is the laravel project creation code so this is the composer create project laravel slash laravel and after that the project name okay so this is my terminal and here i will install the laravel project inside the var www.html so just paste this here and provide the project name so here my project name is custom login system okay so write is in this way custom login system okay so it will take some time to install okay so in the meantime i will create my database so go to the local host php my admin mean and here this is my database so here i will create a database suppose my database name is laravel custom authentication okay so just create it okay so this is my database and if you check the poet is already installed so just go to the inside the project so cd custom login system okay so open the visual studio code editor so i will use the visual studio code for development of this project and the studio is opened okay and let's run this project first so right here php artisan serp okay so now this is the url to get the project so right one two seven so this is the project URL. so we can see the laravel project installed in our application that is the 8.48.1 okay so this is the latest person we have installed so now the thing is if we just go to the app inside the model will get the user model by default okay but in this case we will not use the default authentication section okay so i will just delete these things and we will create with a general model okay so i am just deleting these things and we'll delete the related migration also so just go to the database migration and here is my migration for user table creation so i am just removing this so that we can start from the scratch and totally we'll do our own way means customly we'll create the full authentication system with the proper login and registrations okay so first we'll create a controller for this so i will first create a login url so kindly it is showing 404 not found now i will create a controller and we will register this link inside the routes so just go to the terminal and i want to create a new tab so that we can do this here and the project is running here so just little zoom so so that will more visible to you so first i will create the controller so the create php artisan make controller okay and my controller name is custom authentication controller so every case we are writing this type of naming so that by the name we can understand what we are going to do okay so custom authentication controller okay the custom auth controller okay so the controller is created now if we just go to the directory inside the app http controllers we are getting the custom authentication controller okay now we will just create two function one for login and another for registration so just quick create two things so public function one is login and another is public function 
registration okay so just written some things so it written suppose login and same way just written the registration okay and now call these functions from the web.php this is our routes file so just go to the routes web.php okay first we need to register these things so just use the namespace path and here write use app http controllers and name of the controller that is the custom auth controller and now we'll create two links route gate and inside the gate one link is login and how we can call this so this is my controller name controller name class and the method name is login and another link that is a route gate this is for registration and custom auth controller that is the name of the controller and provide the class and after that the function name okay so this is the function name now if we just go to the browser we can refresh so that this is coming from login and just go to the registration so we are getting this output that means this function is calling okay now we will create a login page and registration page okay and i will use the bootstrap also so first of all we will create a page that is login page so first call this return view login and i want to add a specific folder and inside the folder i want to write these things so write auth login and in the same way here write auth registration so i will create these two functions and these two files so now inside the resource we'll get the views folder and inside the views folder we'll create a folder the name is auth okay sorry the spelling mistake auth right and inside the auth folder we'll create registration dot blade dot php and the another one is login dot blade dot php okay so first quick design this so in this case we will use the bootstrap okay so now quick change the title so here write custom authentication okay and now here use bootstrap so how we can use this so just go to the get bootstrap dot com so this is the get bootstrap dot com and get started and here we can get the link for css so css will paste on the head section and there is also a js so just copy this and write it after the body section okay so now the bootstrap is included now we can use the bootstrap class here so so inside the body we can write the bootstrap class so write container and inside the container we will write the row class that is the bootstrap class and inside this so write column hyphen md and 4 and another class i will want to include that is the offset so column md offset also this is the 4 okay perfect and now here i want to add the from okay so right here from and inside the from we will create some element so first we will write a page title that is the h4 i can write here h4 and here write just write registration okay so now let's see what's coming in the browser so right go to the registration so we can see the registrations is appear so i want to say it some styling so here write style and right here margin 
top suppose 20 px okay and i want to set a hr before the from so it will look more better so this is the section and inside the from we will create the from elements so just write the div from group and here write that is the label and for first we will create name and write here full name and label close and then we will create a input type field and from control there is the class name and here we will create a placeholder that is enter full name and write the input type field name so write name and you can set the value by default it's showing blank and just copy these things for email so here write email and this will also be email and here write email and enter email okay and other things that is the password so just copy another times so i am writing another times also so here we'll create the submit button and here write password okay so now i am just creating form okay so this is nothing more here so i'm just writing here the name and enter password okay and, and here we'll create a button uh, that is the button and button dot block so i am using basically the bootstrap class button hyphen primary okay so button is ready and the type will be the submit and just here write register now just go to the browser and let's see what's happen okay so nice this is coming the three fields full name email and password so now copy the same things into the login page and inside the login page we don't need the full name section so remove this and we need the password and email so just to go to here login this is the login email and password sorry the type will be the password so here write password and same will be for registration page also okay so two pages are created and now i want to create a link from the link we will go to the login from registration page and inside the registration page we have a link to go to the login page so here just create a link so instead of just write beer and create anchor tag that is href equal to this is the login page so i want to go to the registration page so what is the registration page link registration so write it here and just anchor tag close and here write new user register here okay so now close the anchor tag actually so in the same way just write on the registration page so write here beer and paste this so it will go to the login page so already registered so just log in here okay now go to the browser and check what's happened so it's cool all your registers log in here and if you not registered then new user then register here okay so we can go both page so now we need to register the user and we need to insert that user into the database and we can log in from this section so we will continue this topic into our upcoming video so please like and subscribe this channel and thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.